Hi everyone, welcome back to my hangar in Star Citizen. A couple of days ago we had a new patch for the hangar and um, first of all you know it's that the pedestal for the helmet in Arena Commander is uh, centred in the middle there and it also has got a nice helmet animation. Now we've also got a fix for the rather um, spooky grey cat behaviour well I'm sure you might have seen um, your grey cat if you got one uh, doing unusual things really sort of well it basically had a mind of its own and uh, it was undrivable but anyway I'm glad to report now that uh, as you can see it's working fine now over the last couple of weeks um, there's been a sale going on for the freelancers well, it's not exactly a sale, they're not any cheaper, but it's actually to do with the fact that there's three other variants of freelancers available to buy now. Now, I've not personally bought one myself because, um, well, I'm saving my money up at the moment, but my freelancer there is still in the hangar. Now, we're on the Robert Space Industry website and... Uh, as you can see, we've now got um, the three variants of freelancers listed. So uh, there you can check out all the stats and you can check for yourself the main differences between, well, basically all four models of the freelancer. Now this is the freelancer Dur, which has got these little b bumps on the um, nose cone. This is the exploration vessel. So it sacrifices a bit of cargo space for some sophisticated electronics. Next up, we've got the freelancer Max. Now, um, this is actually... Um, got nearly twice as much cargo space as your standard freelancer and it's um, a bit overweight at the back. Now this is your freelancer misc. Now this is your special edition one which probably will not be available again. Um, it's a military version and it basically sacrifices cargo space for a automated missile launcher. Now we're back in my hangar now and let's have a look at um, my standard freelancer which I must admit I'm really quite pleased with because originally I actually had to melt my first freelancer which I had in the business hangar to, uh, to be able to afford to buy my Constellation but a couple of months ago I bought one back and I must admit uh, since they've added the PBR pass on the ships, uh, it really has um, made a dramatic difference to the look of the Freelancer. You can actually see that really metal sort of shining. And the same effect is actually uh, in the interior of the Freelancer. As you can see, look, the metal is actually, well, it looks actually like real metal. Now inside we've got a couple of little... Um, uh, stations here probably um, for various um, functions and we've got uh, four bunk beds you can't use them at the moment but uh, obviously you could have a couple of um, guests with you on, on your long trips through the void and uh, you've got a couple of little seats here behind the uh, two main pilot and co-pilot seats the actual interior looks really nice Right, let's uh, get into uh, the pilot seat in this uh, Freelancer. I must admit, I like the look of the upholstery as well. They've really done a nice job on, on the chairs. I must admit, since um, the PBR Pass has made the Freelancer so shiny, it actually reminds me a little bit of a tour bus. Now, back in the day, I used to do a lot of touring by bus, and I visited many of the spectacular places across the United States in a tour bus. So maybe I could start my own interstellar tours in Star Citizen. Or maybe not. 
Now, I believe the actual uh, front cockpit of the Freelancer has had a little bit of a redesign to um, give more visibility. As you can see, there's um, quite a lot of uh, visibility in the cockpit. And uh, as we do a 360 round my Freelancer, you can just see how detailed everything is modelled. You can see little thrusters on the side and uh, you can see how well defined everything is. Now this ship looks like it could fly. And eventually, pretty soon, in one of the future versions of Arena Commander, it will. But of course, first of all, there's got to be a, an engine change for that to happen because um, Travis Day was um, quoted recently as saying that uh, he'd like to get the multi-crew ships in as soon as possible, but um, basically they need to change the engine so that people can actually leave their seats and walk around. And uh, of course, that's one of the exciting things about a multi-crewed ship in Star Citizen. Now let's make our way towards the back of the Freelancer and uh, about halfway down, we've got this like airlock, which uh, can be used to actually um, do an EVA or to board other vessels, or maybe just to escape pretty quickly. You can close uh, the door to actually uh, keep it everything pressurized, and up, up above is a little hatch to um, egress from. Now we've also got the door here which leads into the main cargo bay. Now the actual, if you can imagine the Freelancer Max which is the, the cargo variant, if you ever get to see that, and people, people do have that ship, um, that is basically more or less twice as wide as the current Freelancer you're seeing here. And uh, it really does add a lot of cargo capacity. I must admit, if I had the money, I would get the Freelancer Max for its cargo capacity. But um, I probably will hold off on that because there's probably other ships I'm going to buy. I'm thinking of a Constellation, which may well get variants fairly soon. So um, for now, I may aim to get the Freelancer Max somewhere in game in the future. Now at the back of the uh, Freelancer you've got the cargo ramp here which comes down fairly nicely again and up above we've got the turret which we still can't get into so we won't spend time looking at that so that will be updated eventually. We can see the turret there, the rear turret um, sticking out the back there. So it really is a lovely ship, the basic freelancer. But I don't blame people if they've got the money or maybe they're just pledging for the first time. Um, maybe go for one of the freelancer variants. Now, the actual grey cat can be driven into the normal freelancer, but due to certain reasons, uh, you're unable to actually get out of your grey cat when you get it in there. Now I guess that this may well not be the case with the super wide Freelancer Max. Now I've got a surprise though. I've actually got another Freelancer. It's actually a Freelancer Miss. It's actually a model. It's actually the latest piece of subscriber flair. And uh, as you can see it's a pretty much an authentic model of the special edition Freelancer Miss. So at least I've got a nice model to stare at in my little cabinet. And as you can see, there's some space for a couple more ships. We've got a whole sea, could that be a constellation? And a Starfarer, which I think was one of the early ships which was on offer, which I don't think will be offered again. Now they've all also gone to the trouble of having a little box as well. Really impressive. Well, thank you very much for watching again, and uh, I'll see you sometime soon, out in that ever-expanding universe of gaming, out, out. in the, the bus. bus.